everyone. How are you guys doing today? Um, today I want to talk about the art of deception. The art of deception. Uh, and the main reason I want to talk about uh, the art of deception is because um, I find it that uh, we get to have a lot of, you know, so-called friends in a uh, when it boils down to it, you know, at the end of the day, you really have like you can count them with one hand. And uh, and a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine, was telling me the other day that um, a few years back I kind of hurt them by uh, saying that um, that I thought you know that they were a specific way. And, and I remember uh, that person telling me that you know I hurt them. And I told them, listen, uh, I tell you this because you're my friend and I care about you. I didn't really say that. What I said was, real friends stab you in the front. You know, meaning that honesty is best policy. Um, and for me, that's how it's always been. You know, I'd rather hear it from my friend than from somebody else, you know. Because at the end, you know, it, sincerity is what composes a real friendship, and, and, and the honesty that's within. Um, so I was thinking, you know, if I live by those words, I wonder how many times have I actually performed the art of deception. You know, we all do it, unfortunately, maybe consciously, consciously or subconsciously, but um, but um, when you have really good friends, you always want to stab them in the front, even if it hurts. And something I learned back in uh, 1998 is to be tactful, uh, because one time I did it when I first time being, you know, really honest, and I was tactless, and at that time I didn't know what that meant. And my friend Melissa t told me, um, "You're so tactless." And I, I remember going back to my room and, and looking up in the dictionary what that meant. And I said, "Okay, uh, I'm gonna practice on being tactful from now on." The art of deception. Remember, if you're a friend, real friends will always stab you in the front. <laughs>